Welcome, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I want to see you in heaven. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Um, this is from James 1, 18 through 19. And we are going to talk more about this. Um, but first, I want to say hi. My name is Cynthia. Um, and I love Jesus. I am a daughter of God. Yes, I am a woman. Um, and I'm sharing the gospel of Jesus. What is the gospel? It is the good news to all nations that Jesus has offered his life and rose again so that our sins would be forgiven if you believe in Jesus and put your trust in him. Um, we walk by faith knowing that Jesus has redeemed us. Um, but now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will pass with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. That is from Isaiah 43, 1 through 2. Um, something we should all understand is that you have been called by God. No one, no one comes to God unless he has called you. If you are feeling the call to God, please answer it because time is running out. Jesus is coming soon. And the believers, the children of God, will be raptured out of this world to meet Jesus in the clouds. Those who are left will suffer. They will suffer greatly. Um, you don't want to be here. It's, it's <sighs> the wrath of God has come upon the earth and you don't want to wait to accept Jesus as your savior. savior. You just don't have time. Um, there is so much happening in the world right now. And Christians right now are looking up and we're looking for the return of Jesus because he's going to be taking us out of this world. Um, as I have said in my first couple videos, many will receive Jesus during the seven-year tribulation, but you don't want to be here. Um, Christianity will be illegal. Yes, in every nation. Christians will be imprisoned and murdered for the name of Jesus. Come to him now. If you think all your troubles go away because you have been born again and cleansed by the blood of Jesus, then you have not been paying attention. You will be mocked, hated, scorned, and ridiculed. The world hates God um, because they don't want to, they don't want to be held accountable for their sin, but we all will face God. Every one of us, every generation and every nation is going to stand before the throne of God and we're going to be um, judged for every sin that we have committed. Um, so we, there's, there's just no time to wait. You want to be ready um, when you face God, you need to come to Jesus and accept him. Um, you just need to admit that you're a sinner. You need to believe that Jesus died for your sins and rose again and is coming back. And you need to ask him for forgiveness and confess your sins to him. And he will save you. This is a promise that he has made and Jesus does not lie. If he promised you that he's going to come and he's going to rescue you and he's going to save you from that sin, he's going to do it. Um, so as a woman who's preaching the gospel... I have had to deal with many mockers and scoffers and honestly, just plain mean people. Some who say they are the children of God. These are brothers and sisters. Um, and there's just so much meanness and hatred in the world right now. Um, I've been called a Jezebel, told to get a man to discuss Jesus, told that I should be silent. Um, but I don't let it discourage me because God is with me. As an American, I have been told that the Bible was not written for me, that only the Jews will be saved, that Jesus did not intend for the Gentiles to join the faith. Um, but I do not let that anger me because the Holy Spirit is with me. I have been sealed by the Spirit and I know that I'm doing the will of God. Do not let anyone deceive you. God loves us and he is with us. Um, John 16:33 says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Um, Proverbs 22.10 gives us advice on how to deal with the scoffer. Cast out the scoffer and contention will leave. Yes, strife and reproach will cease. Let's get direct and practical on this one. 
what are the elders to do with a member of the church who stirs up trouble by mocking the church, um, by mocking authority, righteousness, or serious matters? Solomon said, cast him out. Paul agreed with Solomon. He told the church at Corinth regarding um, an, imp an impenitent fornicator, when you are gathered together along with my spirit, with the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, deliver such a one to Satan. Purge out the old leaven. Therefore, put away from yourselves the evil person. That's from 1 Corinthians 5, 4 through 5, 7 and 13. Now, God says in Proverbs 29, 8, Scoffers set a city aflame, but wise men turn away wrath. Proverbs 24, 9 says the devising... The devising of foolishness is sin, and the scoffer is an abomination to men. Who in our daily lives fits the description of the scoffer from the book of Proverbs? Well, atheists, agno agnostics, skeptics, and evolutionists. The world population stats show that over one billion people on the planet claim no affiliation with religion in any form. Um, they scoff at the idea of God and those who follow him. Psalms 14.1 um, and 53.1 says, The fool has said in his heart that there is no God. Second Peter 3.3-7 3, 3 through 7 says, Knowing this first, that scoffers will come in the last days, walking according to their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. For this they were will they will willfully forget that by the word of God the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the waters by which the world that then existed perished being flooded with water. Um, but the heavens and the earth which are now preserved by the same word are reserved for fire until the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. You want to know something? Most people today do not even believe that Noah's flood is real. They believe it's just a story, and they scoff at the flood. In spite of, in spite of all the geological evidence for the Great Deluge, there is, the world is, a, the scars from the flood are still cover the face of the earth. It is a testimony to that flood. Um, but people still, they still don't see it. Um, but we children of God, we know the truth. The unbeliever will not come to God until God calls them. So stop arguing your doctrines, your beliefs. I mean, share the gospel. But don't let, um, don't let the scoffer suck you in. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, sometimes you need to plant your seeds and walk away. And remember, just because you are posting in a Christian group, that doesn't mean everyone there is Christians. I can tell you now... I cannot tell you how nasty people get in comments um, in even those types of groups. Plant your seeds, but keep your peace of mind. Do not give Satan a platform, um, people. Just don't do it. <sighs> don't, don't give Satan the platform to confuse people because that's what he wants. Um, in my Facebook page, and yes, I have my own Facebook page, um, it's called Walking with Jesus Daily Devotions. I delete comments that are false teachings, and I block scoffers and mockers. My page is for the study and worship of God, and I will not give Satan the microphone. Um, yes, we are called to bring others to Christ, but not everyone is there looking for Jesus. Not everyone there is looking for God. They are there to confuse the Christians. And um, my page is a daily devotional page where I can be safe. And the people who are on my page, I don't allow them to be attacked by scoffers and mockers. I don't give Satan a microphone. We're here to, we're there to worship God. And I mean, if you're looking for that kind of thing, there are lots of groups out there. Um, if you want to go out there and argue and get into debates, um, but why we're here to share the gospel and that's all we're here to do um there are plenty of other groups out there where you can do that on my page i don't allow it um and it's peaceful and the focus is on jesus and that's where i want to keep that focus um we only have a short time left to share the gospel and to bring others into our family so be kind be gentle 
bring glory to our Holy Father in heaven. Um, as we see in, as, as as we see the Bible playing out on the daily news, we should not fear. We should rejoice because our Savior is near. I've seen the flooding, earthquakes, fire, extreme heat, inflation, starvation, violence, apostasy, economic collapse, evil, and lawlessness. But what we are seeing now is it's only the beginning. These are the birth pains, um, the wars and threats of wars and the nukes ready to fire. They're not going to hurt the children of God because we will not be here. So please be ready. Pray. Read your Bible. Um, don't let other people tell you what the Bible says. Look up your scriptures. Read your Bible daily. Pray to God daily. And you can pray to him at any time. He is always listening. Um, he will never forsake you. He will never abandon you. And for anyone who says, oh, God's not alive, God's gone, he's dead, that's not true. God is eternal, he is holy, and he does not want anyone to um, perish. He, is want he wants everyone to come to the Lord. So as you go about your daily lives, you need to keep this in mind. Um, I know how hard it is when you're dealing with some, some of these people's, you know, the things that they say, the things that they do, they're just trying to suck you in. They want to make you upset and they want to hurt you because they hate God. And we are from God. We are a part of God and we're sharing the message of God. So guess what? We're going to be hurt, hated too. Um, in this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he has loved us and sent his son to be our <laughs> to be our advocate for our sins. Um Jesus paid for our sins and there's nothing that we can do to um so, so secure our salvation the only thing that we can do the only the only hope of salvation is Jesus um, my faith does not rest in the wisdom of men but in the power of God and God is very faithful he will not let you be deceived he will guide your heart he has sent us the holy spirit and um He's not going to leave us. Um, I could never forget all, yet I could never forget all your miracles, my God. As I remember all your wonders of old, I ponder all that you've done. Lord, musing on your miracles. Psalm 77, 11 through 12. Um, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of the light of life. Oh, things are going to get bad. We know it. We see it. We're watching the news. Um, but you know what? The Bible gives us promises. He tell, It tells us what's going to happen. So we know. We are prepared. And what's happening now shouldn't surprise you. Um, Luke 21, 10 through 11 says, Then he said unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And great earthquake, great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sightings, and great signs shall there be in heaven. You know, this should make us excited. This should bring hope and joy to our hearts, because the Bible is playing out just as God has planned. Um, today, even prayer is under attack. They do not want us praying. They don't. Um, but guess what? They cannot stop us. God knows our hearts and he hears our thoughts. And um, I'm going to turn the camera off now and I'm going to spend time in prayer for the unbelievers to come to Jesus because they, they can't get there without, without the Holy Spirit, without God calling them. So I'm going to pray that God calls more of our brothers and sisters and that those seeds that we are planting take root. Um, I'm going to pray for the suffering um, to find comfort in Jesus because there is so much suffering today. It's everywhere, and um, I just want to pray that many of those people who are hurting can find comfort in Jesus, and I want to thank God for all he has done for me. Um, I'm just a little old nobody, and God has done so much for me. I think I've got one subscriber, and that's okay. I'm not doing this for subscriptions. Um, I'm not doing this for likes, and if nobody sees these videos, well, that was God's will, not mine. Um, but I do hope that God is planning to use me um, to help share his, share his message. 
Um, keep the faith, my brothers and sisters, and look up because Jesus is coming soon.